it's Chris from Phase Doc here. Our goal is to help you maximize the fun and usefulness of your single board computers and microcontrollers, lovingly referred to as hacker boards. We thought a great place to start would be helping you find ways to mount your electronic components as you build projects. A lot of times we see people use duct tape and hot glue and sometimes gravity with predictably less than optimal results. Part of the problem is that there are just so many different boards out there. Our friends at Device Guru have put together a database with over 300 hacker boards alone. And by the way, that's a great resource for searching and comparing different boards side by side. So what are the components that you might want to mount? Well, of course, we have single board computers, Raspberry Pi and a Zero. This is a BeagleBone. Microcontrollers like the Arduino and the Mega Circuit Playground. This is a Feather and we have a particle mounted on a feather wing. Everybody, sooner or later, will have a breadboard, terminal blocks. Sensors, there are almost too many to list. And maybe relay boards, we have a speaker here, and of course, batteries and power supplies. As you plan to mount your components, think about three things. First, how to protect your components from impact and short circuits. Second, the best mounting method for each of the components. And last, how to move things around once you've placed them the first time. Your initial design is not always the best as your project evolves. We'll talk more about that in our next session. In the meantime, thanks for joining us and happy making.